He's pretty happy. Hi, love bug. Are you with your brothers? Good morning, everyone. So we just spent the night somewhere else for our first time in months and months and months and months. I feel like it was so interesting because I'd almost forgotten what it was like to pack a suitcase and now to come home and unpack the suitcase. And we were actually doing a lot of that for years. We were kind of living in a constant packing and an unpacking cycle because we travel so much with our kids and with our family and we're so grateful to have had that opportunity. But it has been nice to be home and to not have that stress that we would have quite frequently in our lives. It just reminded me that there are these little things to be grateful for in this time of pandemic and sheltering at home and all of it. I feel like even though We've all had a variety of different hardships that go from, you know, mild to really extreme. There are also hidden blessings. So there are things that maybe you just don't notice as they're happening or, or things that just would never have happened if 2020 hadn't have taken the turn that it did. So I want to know from you guys, what are things that have happened that really wouldn't have happened if we didn't have either the pandemic going on or any of the other chaotic things of 2020 like what surprised you this year for the good and now it's breakfast time at our house luke got up in the middle of, of the night at like 3 a.m and got into bed with me and like nursed for a little bit and then christopher took him a little bit later and hung out with him and now i'm up and christopher's going upstairs and we're just kind of like doing that parent swap out <laughs> And I need to go feed Jacob and Duncan because they just woke up. Hi, Lukey. <laughs> you see mama? <laughs> hey, we gotta get you changed. You're still wearing your yesterday clothes. Jakey, can you go get an outfit for Luke? I'll go get an outfit Okay, thank you, Duncan. <laughs> so basically, I found out that I think I have some sort of rug burn or something on my toes. So it's hard for me to walk a little bit. <laughs> Colleen's pool is notorious for having like odd bumps on it that give the kids various like rashes and scratches. My so whole we... chest and my back got like that. Yeah, so our guess is that his toes scraped up against the pool like sides yesterday. And then I got a bug bite and the chlorine got to my eyes. <laughs> Jacob, having a rough morning. And this guy. Always this guy, right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't get the camera. Don't do the legendary. Don't do the legendary Parker. The lens slap. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He was close. Okay, Duncan's down with some clothes. What'd you pick out? Ten hat and belt. A little alien bottom. Yep. Nice. And cat in a hat. Mm -hmm. Cute combo. Thanks. So what made you choose this for Luke today? Um, Ken has just, just the obvious? No, no, we need pants for this. Oh, yeah, you definitely need pants. Yeah. I'm putting Luke's clothes on because he's so naked. Isn't he naked? Yeah. So, we're putting in his um, She's putting, mom, mine is putting his clothes on. Who is? What's my name? Mom. He loves his cat in the hat outfit. Yeah. And he loves his cat in the hat outfit. And he, he also loves his toys. You look so handsome, Mr. Cat in the Hat. <laughs> Are you getting brother kisses? Ah! Oh. <laughs> he loves Mickey Mouse so much. He does. <laughs> you know, I was noticing the other day, he was loving Mickey Mouse, and he also loved Woody the Cowboy. Oh. And, and did he... Broke away the cowboy's um, arm. <laughs> Cute. 
you boys? Are you playing? Uh -oh. Are you playing? <laughs> He's pretty happy. Hi, love bug. Are you with your brothers? One, two, Thank three, you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Done. Bailey and Parker slept out in the tent last night, and I have a feeling they stayed up later than they should have. So they are still sleeping. They have not emerged. You are just such a happy boy. I love. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, good. That's good. That's a good job. Just be careful. Hey, Duncan, should we go make some breakfast? Yeah! Okay, so we're doing some yogurt, and Jacob got creative and added watermelon, which I think will be fun. I've never had that before. Okay, Master Chef Jacob has decided on pumpkin seeds. Done. It's good. <laughs> All right, time for the judge. <laughs> oh, that's the bite. That's the bite. How is it? How is it? I'm in suspense. Yes, thumbs up. Duncan, Luke, and Christopher are all napping. <laughs> um, Christopher actually has been trying to have two videos posted today, so you might have noticed that yesterday. Hopefully we'll see what the rest of the day brings. I don't know. Um, but on Sunday we did not post because we wanted to really spend the day with the family and celebrate our little mini Christmas. Today Christopher really wanted to get that Christmas day and our Christmas Eve in August up. So last night he stayed up kind of late editing and this morning he really worked a lot on editing. And it's like 2.30 right now and he was just so tired and he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if we'll end up getting that second video up or not. I'm, I'm hoping we still will just like late at night and be like wild and post it late. But it just sort of depends on how he's doing. And now it's just kind of like strangely quiet because Christopher is sleeping and the baby's sleeping and Duncan's sleeping. Jacob and Parker have done like a lot of chores today. They um, did the laundry and they cleaned up the living room and vacuumed it and stuff, which it really needed. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're watching a show called How It's Made, which is a really cool show. They told me that right now they're learning how lettuce is made and they learned about mushrooms earlier and something else, but I can't remember. And Bailey is in a Harry Potter out school like drama class. So it's just kind of quiet. It's very strange. I don't usually get this time where it's like, nobody is clamoring for my attention. Usually I'm so it in many different ways. So I think I'm gonna make myself a little tea and a snack and just chill out for the next five minutes or so because I'm guessing that's all I have. I'm also reading a lot right now. So I have this Kindle, isn't this a cute case? And I am reading The Stand, which is one of my favorite books. I've actually already read it twice before and it's by Stephen King. And it's basically about a massive plague, but I am just really, intrigued by that storyline and obviously it's relevant to now but this plague in the sand is much worse than what we're combating right now so at least we have that to be grateful for i'm reading the stand with two of my friends i think one has seen like the mini series and loves it and then the other one hasn't read the book or seen it like basically knew nothing about it and it's so much fun we're doing like a little ladies book club which i've never done before i really like the idea of a book club i think but I've just never, I've never done one. So. And I'm also reading one of Bailey's favorite series, Keeper of the Lost Cities, I think that's what it's called, by Shannon Messenger. And Bailey's read this series like a million times, but I had not yet. And I have finished the first book and I'm on the second one and it's called Exile, I believe. It's really good, I'm loving it. So I'm kind of torn between these two different things that I'm reading that are all in this. How fancy is that? This stand, just so you know, is like over a thousand pages and I just keep thinking about how my hands used to like cramp up and ache while holding this massive book. And now I just have this lightweight little Kindle thing. That's like, I don't know. It's still, I, I mean, I know, I know most people like are used to technology, <laughs> but I'm such a book lover. I always have been. And I kind of resisted for a while getting this style of thing. Like, and we got them and I still was like, I'm still gonna read books. And I think that that's really important and I still love it, but it's also like, 
this is still really cool too. We're learning how to make wood right now. Construction it's wood. Yes. Is it cool? Yeah. yeah. Bailey, Parker, and I are playing poker. Parker's shuffling and dealing. Bailey is anxiously awaiting her hand. Yes. Oh, how was class? Great. We um, we just performed Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Were you Dobby? Yes. <laughs> how was it? It was very good. <laughs> well done. Nice. That was the best one I did in this round. <laughs> really? That's the hand I get for myself? I, you can go around the corner, right? Uh, no. I gave myself the worst hand. Yeah, I but ever aces seen. can be ones, right? Yes. Well. Okay, who's gonna bid first? first. Bailey, I think it's you. Mm. Okay. All right. How many cards do you want, Bailey? A one. Okay. I'm two. Oh well. Okay. You have the worst hand? Yes. I have a pretty good one. <laughs> Do you like our poker faces? <laughs> You're gonna knock, okay. Go ahead, that's enough. That's in okay, Bailey. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I don't know, Bailey. I'm out. I, I, I'm you out. Hold this Parker fold. Do you want to pay one five? He's, you have to fold. You have to either not be in the game anymore. Not be in the game. I won. <laughs> you want to show us your hand, Bailey? It was really bad. What? Oh, still beat mine. <laughs> Ace high beat me. Are we getting a little bluffer? Her card still beat ours, but I was really nervous there. I thought she had like a very high hand. Jacob just heard us in, and then he's gonna join in. You can have some of my chips. Okay, this is my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can. I feel like I have to make a a choice on direction here. I don't know what to do. Jacob's in. I'll see what's coming next. Well, that's what I got. Hi. What's that? Five? Yeah. Okay, I'm out. Oh, he's in. So you just have to bet four. So take one, one white one back. Wait, why? Just put in Because he already put in one. And I'm in. And take a white one back. Okay, Bailey's in. Oh my goodness, did what? She did she raise it? Yep. Oh my goodness, this game is so awesome. It's 20. 20! Whoa, so Jacob, you need to put in 15. What is that? Okay. And a five, okay. Parker, you need to, I can't even keep track of this. You need to put in 15. No, five. 15. Because he already put in five. No, he put in five. Did he raise it? Well, no, I he, he, no, I put in no, a 20, remember? How okay, okay, okay. Before? All right, this is quite the stack. All right, Bailey reveals her cards first. You don't get to put in more because Parker, yeah, Parker didn't raise it. So it doesn't come back around to you, I don't think. I don't know. I was going to raise it. Well, Parker needs to be the one that raises it. Okay, you're in for the treat, guys. Oh, my goodness. Not a royal flush. It can't be a royal flush. Okay, what is it? What is it? Oh, horrible hands. <laughs> she was bluffing. <laughs> she cool. was just an ace. Okay, ace. let's see what Jacob's got. Which what? is a, which is a, um, that is a flush. That is a flush. What? That was incredible, what? Jacob. Oh, I got a three. <laughs> I lost my you, got, you had a pair of threes? Yes. Okay, Jacob wins it. Very impressive, Jacob. Swooping in. What just happened? I got a full house. <laughs> Three fours and two eights. Oh my gosh. I got this. Wait, this was a big pie. It's Bailey's turn to reveal next. Okay, Bailey, what'd I you get? I got a pair. One pair, that's pretty good. Especially in our games, that would have won it many times. Well, this is a big I, pot. I got kind of that. But oh, that Jacob. Really do oh, anything. okay. And I had folded. Oh my thing. goodness, Parker. I did not. I, I put in one because it was a red ace. And, yeah. then, and then I got one, and, and it was a four. So I just like that. 
Oh my goodness. Look, I just woke up. Yeah. So, this is going to be my last hand. Cause I'm gonna hang out with this little dude. But they can keep playing. Parker, what just happened? I just got three, and it's higher than two. And Jacob had two, and I had three. I had two aces, guys. Well, Come I on. sure am glad I folded. <laughs> yeah, me too. Luke had a bonus occupational therapy session today during lunch. He did a lot of practicing with new textures, and we tried different temperatures, so he had cold food and warm food. He tried um, smooth food and textured food together, and he did really well. He did great. <laughs> he also did a little bit better when we held the spoon like close to his face. He would help put the spoon into his mouth, but he's still not picking up food and putting it in his, in his mouth on his own. And that's okay, he'll get there. He did really well, no pukes at all, huh? Yeah, oh, gosh, no pukes. Good. What just happened, Bailey? I had a, a <laughs> pair and he had a pair and I had sevens and he had sixes. And, and you and guys- he bet like all his money. Yeah, he bet a lot no. of money. No, I didn't bet I all my money. money. Oh, yeah, you bet a lot. So, I'm working on my chart. This is my chart for my birthday. It's not done yet, but for now, this is what I've made. It shows all the days until my birthday. So, yeah. That's really cool. Fun countdown. <laughs> it's um, 39 cool. days right now, but I bet once this vlog is getting posted, it's about 38 or 30. Seven. Yeah, hopefully 38, but we'll see how daddy does today. I don't know if he's yeah. woken up or not. So I really needed to order groceries today, or at least it felt like I did because all of our staples are gone. So like our bread and tortillas and eggs, like we're, we, we just don't have a lot of what we usually have on hand, but I really wanted to challenge myself today and I'm starting up sort of like a pantry purge because as I talked about a couple days ago, our counters are really filling up, all our little like, impromptu pantry spaces that we've made around the house are filling up and it's just a bunch of like random stuff. So today I'm getting a little creative in the kitchen and kind of looking around at what we have and what's close to going bad that's been just sitting around and I'm just making some interesting things for our meals. <laughs> so here's our dinner. So we sliced up this beautiful watermelon. Hey. <laughs> and I found this brie cheese. And then Parker just said he wants to help me. You know what would be really good with brie cheese? What? Quesadillas. <laughs> I don't have any tortillas. <gasps> you know what? I do have corn tortillas. <gasps> but does that, mean, does that mean you're putting the brie cheese in the tortilla or are you making it a whole new quesadilla? Well, we could put mine in the quesadilla because I, I personally don't like brie cheese. <laughs> Bye! This is so good. Okay, so you want, you want your brie in a in a corn tortilla. Yes, I want it cooked in a corn tortilla. <laughs> okay, that that was a really good reminder because, look, see? A lot of times I keep my tortillas right here for flour tortillas, but I forgot that I snuck some corn tortillas in here. Parker's brie quesadillas are cooking. Nice, Parker. Parker's adding a little bit of, put it on. Put it on to whichever ones you want. Very exciting. I'm gonna make a cheese cracker for me. Okay, this is how he makes a cheese cracker. You just burn cheese and that is it. Nice. So now we have like a fatty protein with the cheese, some grains with the corn tortilla, a fruit with the watermelon, and I'm gonna come up with some sort of vegetable. Hmm, there's Parker's cheese cracker. So I haven't found the vegetables yet, but Christopher just woke up, and that means he's finishing the edit, and I think it'll finish today. So now I'm gonna go into our freezer and see what we have in here. All right, we got peas. And we got broccoli. That's good stuff. I found two half-eaten bags of frozen peas. We have peas, quesadillas, and watermelon. Great. Hi, Sleepyhead. Oh, do you like the food? The peas are going to be hot still, but everything else should be cool enough to eat, okay? Yeah. I gave Bailey lots of peas because she loves them. Mm, delicious. Nice. How do you like that quesadilla? Good. That was a Parker invention. <laughs> yeah, it has brie in it and regular cheese. I'm sorry. 
So that actually worked out really well and I was surprised with what we had. I, could, I had completely forgotten about the tortillas that I had put in the drawer and I'm glad we went through those peas and the watermelon. So this went really well. Oh, and I added some almonds because I found them around, so. But like quesadillas are yummy. Duncan really likes your quesadillas. I really like them too. Even with the brie? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna keep this up for as long as I can and just kind of keep doing a pantry purge until things get very dire. But right now, but right now we clearly needed this and it's working out just fine. So I'm gonna keep challenging myself not to purchase anything, at least for the next couple days. These are good. Yeah, these, these quesadillas are like amazing. I've been editing for the whole day, aside from the time when I took a little nap. And now the kids are watching a movie. They've been uh, reading The Iron Giant at nighttime. Dunk has actually heard it twice, and the other kids heard it once. And Bailey read it to herself. So we're just gonna, we're gonna watch this movie. I think the movie's a lot different than the book. I saw the movie a long, long time ago, and when I was reading the book, I was like, this doesn't, this don't line up that much. There is an Iron Giant in both of them. I'm gonna be really interested to see what the kids think of the movie after having read the book. All right, the movie has ended. I don't really get it because it was a lot different from the book that we read. It was. Because they did a bomb instead of like, like, like a dragon coming and she was supposed to sing space music, but that never happened. Which do you like better, the book or the movie? I like the movie better. You like the movie better? What did you think, Jake? I thought I liked it. Did you I, like the book? I, uh, I liked both. I liked the, 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 the thing where um, um, he, trying, he was trying to sh the aunt Yarn was trying to shoot. I, I, I like that part. You asked me to read the book over again when we finished the book. Did, did you like the book better or the movie better? Um, the movie. You like the movie better? Because mm -hmm, there was a dragon in it and I didn't like it. You didn't like the dragon in the book? Yeah. All right, well, the movie's over, but so is the night. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>